The French nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine, SSBN, Le Temeraire of the Triumphant class, has conducted a test launch of the M51 ballistic missile in the Atlantic Ocean near Finisterre. French authorities have not disclosed which version of the M51 was used in this particular case. They also did not explain why the impact area was significantly offset from the ballistic trajectory. It is quite possible that the shooting was done from an underwater platform that simulates a submarine launch and was used in previous M51 tests. Last year, France conducted another M51 test across the Atlantic, but it was launched from the ballistic missile submarine of the Triumphant class Le Temeraire. The Triumphant class submarine used for the tests is the last of the four SSBNs in the French Navy's armament, which has been fully retrofitted to install the M51. The French Ministry of Armed Forces has issued a statement on the launch, emphasizing that at that time the missile did not carry nuclear warheads, and that the impact area in the North Atlantic was several hundred kilometers away from any coast. Warnings to sailors to stay away from certain areas of the Atlantic Ocean, stretching from the coast of France to an area north of the Bermuda Islands, due to upcoming missile operations, indicate that the French military will use a long-range ballistic missile. The exact location of the four restricted zones has raised questions about whether this launch will be a test of a new variant of the French M51 submarine launch ballistic missile, or SLBM, a key component of the country's nuclear deterrent potential, or even a hypersonic weapon. This shot, carried out within the framework of the M51 program, once again demonstrates the superiority of the high technologies that the French industry is implementing in this field. Scott Lafoy. If the launch occurred off the coast of France in the East Atlantic, Cobra Ball likely participated in tracking the missile's mid-course trajectory and possibly its final phase before impact. Falcon 50 was possibly on standby to ensure that the termination area was cleared of sea traffic. It is also quite possible that the impact area or flight termination was in another region, and this is exactly the point of view that the RC-135S wanted to get during the tests. In this case, the presence of the French Naval Patrol aircraft Falcon 50 could have been a mere coincidence, as they are often found in this area. In 2019, the French Ministry of Armed Forces announced the signing of a contract with Ariane Group for the development of a so-called demonstration hypersonic glider. As part of a program named Vehicle Maneuverant Experimental or Experimental Maneuvering Vehicle, also abbreviated as VMAX. The testing of this machine was planned to take place in 2021. Many countries are purchasing such weapons, and we have all the necessary skills to develop them. Stated Florence Parley, the French Minister of Armed Forces. Hypersonic glide weapons usually use rocket boosters, which are similar, if not identical, to those used in more traditional ballistic missiles to reach the vehicle at the desired altitude and speed. After that, the device is released and glides down to its target, making extremely uneven movements along an atmospheric flight trajectory at hypersonic speed, defined as a speed above Mach 5. The maneuvering of the machine is much less predictable than more traditional ballistic missiles, even with advanced maneuvering warheads. This combination of speed and chaotic movements makes this weapon particularly difficult to detect and track, let alone defend against. All of this reduces the time an enemy must respond, including trying to relocate important assets or otherwise seek shelter, making missile glide vehicles an ideal choice for pursuing targets surrounded by dense, integrated air defense networks. There's always some risk during missile tests. In 2013, French officials initiated the self-destruction of an M51 missile after a test launch off the coast of France, during which the first stage of the rocket booster failed. This is one of the reasons why countries worldwide conduct routine tests even on established types. Regarding strategic deterrence, it is especially important to ensure that a country's nuclear weapons can be reliably engaged if necessary and that this is clear to any potential adversary. France no longer has active ground-based ballistic missiles, so the testing of the VMAX design could also help explain any use of a ground launch pad rather than a submarine. France plans to modify its supersonic land-to-air ASN-4G missile for hypersonic flight by 2024. France has stated that it successfully conducted a test launch of an M-51 ballistic missile from a ground base on the northwestern coast of the Bay of Biscay. 
The software for online flight tracking also showed that the U.S. Air Force's RC-135S Cobra Ball, which is specifically configured for collecting information on ballistic missile tests, was flying near the place where it was expected that the inert warhead of the weapon would hit the Atlantic Ocean north of the Bermuda Islands. Warning notifications ahead of this test indicated certain peculiarities, sparking discussion about whether this could be a test of a new variant of the M51 or even a hypersonic weapon. The unusual location of the strike zone, combined with the use of a ground testing range, rather than one of the four triumphant class ballistic missile submarines of the French Navy, also led some to question whether this was the first flight test of the French VMAX demonstrator of hypersonic weapons, which, according to most, is a glide vehicle without an engine. A key property of rocket glide vehicles compared to more traditional ballistic missiles is their ability to make significant and unpredictable maneuvers, while moving along an atmospheric flight trajectory, which could explain the trajectory deviation in this case. Apart from confirmation by the French government that this was a test in support of the M51 program, there are no other indications that the missile carried any similar payload in this case. The M51 variants currently in service with France are a design with a multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle, MERV, which can carry up to 10 separate warheads on one payload bus, also known as a carrier missile. They are then released, heading towards different targets at the final stage of the weapon's flight, Deployment of warheads at an oblique angle could mean testing some new capability. France is in the process of developing a new M51, 3 variant, which will have a longer range than existing versions, along with other improvements. At the same time, publicly available information indicates that it could be years before this design undergoes flight tests. The curious flight trajectory may also be the result of more grounded factors. This could be related to how close the nominal trajectory will pass to the U.S. East Coast and sea routes, or because they are testing a certain aspect of the maneuverability of their warheads or carrier missile," said Scott LaFoy. Regardless, the test was interesting enough for the United States to want to observe it. As was the case with the M51 test in the Atlantic last year, the U.S. Air Force's RC-135S Cobra ball plane was spotted near the impact site. Cobra balls, including the RC-135S with serial number 62, 4128, spotted in the Bermuda Islands, have various sensor systems that allow them to collect images of ballistic missile launches or warheads re-entering the Earth, as well as related telemetry data and electronic intelligence. Currently, there are only three Cobra balls in service, making them highly scarce assets that the U.S. Air Force must sensibly deploy to meet global intelligence gathering needs. It is also known that the RC-135S has been used to gather information on missile tests conducted by U.S. allies and partners, as well as potential adversaries as part of the ongoing intelligence operation named Olympic Titan. One of the French Navy's Dassault Falcon 50 business class planes, configured for maritime observation and patrolling, was also spotted today flying off the coast of North Carolina, approximately 600 miles west of the Bermuda Islands. Although we do not know for certain whether this aircraft was involved in these missile tests, another of these aircraft was also present during the M51 launch in 2020. This plane is well suited to monitor any planes or ships deliberately or accidentally venturing into the impact zone. The French Navy ship Monge, designed to collect telemetry and other missile test data, including ballistic missile launches, was also seen leaving Norfolk, Virginia earlier this month. Although it is unclear where this vessel is currently, it was also involved in the M51 tests in the Atlantic last year. Back in France, the French Air Force's E3F Sentry Airborne Warning and Control System AWACS aircraft was spotted orbiting north of the DGASA de Missiles facility. It's unsurprising that the French military would want to ensure no unwanted guests ventured into the launch area during the tests. Only time will tell whether any additional information will emerge about the exact reasons for the displacement of the strike zone, and the use of a ground range in this case instead of a triumphant class ballistic missile submarine. France is typically very silent about any events related to its nuclear arsenal, so it will be interesting to see what we can learn, if anything, after this upcoming missile test, regardless of the inevitable implications it carries. Thank you for watching till the end. Subscribe to our channel and see you again soon.